Woohoo! Any guesses on what I ordered from Bulk Supplements on Black Friday? If you guessed egg white protein powder, you would be absolutely correct. Since uh, Bulk Supplements had that 15% off coupon code on Black Fi Friday through Cyber Monday, I went ahead and ordered the 5 kg, yeah, five, 11 pound or 5 kilogram option of the egg white protein powder. With the prices going up as much as they have recently, I felt like I needed to just stock up and hopefully this will hold me for a while. I'm hoping the prices will even out as supply increases again um, and possibly other companies will jump on the bandwagon when they see that there's a big demand for egg white protein powder. But until then, I figured I would just stock up. I like how Bulk Supplements uh, packages the 11 pound pack in uh, 1 kg so yeah, one kg um, bags instead of one giant bag. That is very nice. So these are headed into my pantry. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring you along on our day and show you some uh, progress we've made on the basement. Very exciting stuff going on there. The girls have a room and hopefully this afternoon we're getting a delivery of a giant TV to go on the wall down there. We left our TV in our old house when we moved, and so we've been without a decent sized TV for quite some time. We have one little one that the kids watch movies on, but it's not great for like movie nights and stuff because it's so small. So we ordered a Black Friday deal from Costco of a giant TV. We've never had a TV this big, but we're hoping that our basement will become a fun place for movie nights, um, having people over and doing fun stuff like that. So we invested in a giant TV. We will see how the delivery goes this afternoon. Uh, before the delivery comes, we need to get down in the basement and do some cleaning just so the delivery guys can easily get down the stairs and put it where it needs to be. So we're gonna be working on that. I'll probably have the kids down there working and we'll get that all squared away and then I will take you on a tour and show you. I also have my downstairs pantry more set up. Um, I had shelves down there and stuff down there, but it was a complete disaster because my husband was still doing the walls. So everything was like moved to the middle of the basement. And I showed you that in a video a few weeks ago. So it a, looks a lot more organized now. I got some new shelves. I still need to do some organizing on those just to get them exactly how I want them, get my stuff easily accessible. That's gonna be so nice because I've had things just in bins, like stacks of bins, and that's the worst for having to get stuff out you know, in a pinch. So I'm super excited about the um, pantry all set up. Levi has a bed downstairs now. That is super exciting. It's a very cool bed. You'll have to see it. My husband had a very creative idea about that. I also have an unboxing that I need to do. I ordered a new Fitbit. I've had a couple different Fitbits in the past and really loved like the extra motivation it gave to get moving and just like that visual reminder of, you know, how much you've actually moved in a day. And I have so much space out here on our property to go for walks and to just get moving. And so that little bit extra motivation of the Fitbit is kind of fun. I also like the challenges that you can do with other people. It's just motivational. So anyways, there was a good Black Friday deal at Costco on the Lux Fitbit. I kind of did all the comparisons of the different ones and decided what features were important to me and what were not that important. And I decided the Lux was nice and small. I wanted it to be small, but also had a lot of great features and it was a good price. So I ordered that and it came yesterday and I haven't even opened the box yet. So I'm gonna do that with you guys in a little bit and um, just bring you along on the rest of the day. Oh, the other really exciting thing that's happening today that I can't forget about is Autumn is coming home. She has been gone for a week and a half. She was gone over the Thanksgiving holiday for her school holiday break. She got to go to Montana to visit some dear friends of ours and stay there and have Thanksgiving with them. And she had a wonderful time, of course, nice, quiet, away from all the children. Sounds so wonderful. But she is coming home today, so we're excited to welcome her back. All right, girls, are you ready for your mission? Yes. No. What's, what's your mission? Yes, nothing. Your to mission? Clean up the bacon. You... Clean up the bacon. Clean <laughs> the basement and get the TV down there. Yeah, don't you want to get a TV down there, Tal? Yes. It's gonna be so fun. A TV is really fun. Imagine but cleaning is 
it's not. Well, you gotta work to get the good stuff. That's how life is. I'm so excited. Isn't it gonna be fun? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't it gonna be fun to play video games on yes. the giant screen? I think Renee is the most motivated of all of the I'm three. I'm excited, but I'm I did so not, I did not Renee is ready to do the work. She's ready to put in the work to make it happen. Give me five, Renee. That was awesome. Okay, here is the Fitbit Lux that I got from Costco. It's the one that comes with the second band, and they had two different color options, uh, the boyish one and the girlish one, and I got the girlish one with the white and the pink band. I thought they were pretty. So this isn't gonna be a super in-depth like unboxing and review of all the features and stuff. I just don't have all that information in front of me right now, but um, if anyone was curious about this, I thought I would show it. All right, box inside a box. Here's the second band. And some FAQs. FAQs and ready, set. Set up. Ready, set up. Um, there's the second band. It comes in two pieces because it clips right into the tracker. You can probably hear the children downstairs. They're playing Nerf guns in the basement. Fun times. Ooh, look at how pretty. So one important thing to me was that it wasn't too big. Those Apple watches and giant things like that are just all the rage right now. And that's just not my thing. Just not interested in a giant one. And this one was very sleek, very minimal. And I thought it was really pretty. Oh, there we go. Just pull it out. I think there's another band actually, cause they have like the small and the large maybe or in addition to make it bigger. And then also the color option. I think the Costco pack had the two color options and normally if you buy it, it just has the one color option. There's the charger. All right, there it is. Take this off. I think I'll have it on my left wrist. I don't know, usually they tell you if it's better to have it on your favored hand or not. I forget what it's supposed to be. I'm right-handed. It's not tight enough yet, but that's what it looks like. Oops. Okay. Let's see, we got all kinds of paperwork, quick start guide, but also the ready setup guide and product information. We'll save that for later. All right, first thing I gotta do is charge it to 100%, which may take one to two hours. Let's see, how does this connect here? It looks, oh, look at that. It's like magnetic. So you can see how they give you this extra piece that makes it longer, but then on the additional color, they only give you the small size. It's a good thing small fit me. All right, gonna go plug this in and let it charge and then we'll take a peek at it when it's time to actually use it. We spent a bunch of time cleaning up the basement this afternoon. It's starting to look okay. Um, I'll give you a tour down there in a little bit, but um, the TV is just supposed to be delivered. It's running about an hour late than what they ex expected. The kids have been like waiting at the window for it to get delivered. It's not even gonna get set up until my husband gets home, so <laughs> they're anxious for nothing, but it's gonna be coming here in just a few minutes. My husband is on his way home with Autumn. He picked her up, and so the evening's gonna be oh so exciting. All right, what did we get, Levi? A big, big TV! A big TV, I can't believe it! Should we send it back? No! I bet, no. I mean, the truck's still out there. I bet they'd take it back for us. There it is. It's gonna go on that wall. And this will be our TV room. Izzy. Oh. She forgot you for a second.
Does it measure up? It measures up. What is that round blue thing? Yeah. So over here is my pantry and I've got it pretty organized on this one. This one still needs some work. I just kind of threw things on there. I have some empty bins actually that I could fill up with stuff, but needs a little bit more work, but I'm loving how much space I have on both of these shelves. So exciting. It's my pork king good order. This is Renee's absolute favorite pork rinds. They're mine too, but I'm staying away from them because they have dairy, which is very sad. Um, but the pickle ones are good too. But anyways, I have stuff like this that just needs to find a place. Over here is the girl's new room. And so we put the bunk beds in here again as bunk beds. And of course they had to make their own little tents and have their little private space. But then also my husband built this second just top bunk. And so they're able to have some stuff under there like their drawers for their clothes and stuff. So they are absolutely loving having their own room. Very, very exciting. Of course they have all of the Legos out on the floor down here. I'm just so glad that they can do that down here rather than upstairs in the living room. That makes me very happy. Everyone has been loving the TV, watching movies and doing video games. It's been so fun to have a TV again. Now this over here is Levi's new awesome bed. He had been sleeping up in the living room on the couch for since we moved in, basically. Before any of the kids slept down here, we got an egress window in, we got smoke detectors up. We definitely made sure that it was super safe for everybody down here. But now that it is, my husband built, um, we'll just, we're not going to say prison bed, but it's like a prison bed <laughs> um, where it folds up. So if we have a party down here or something, we can just fold the bed up to the wall. It just pulls up like that. And then there's that hook on the wall and it just hooks up and folds up. And so Levi just thinks it's the coolest thing ever. We do keep it down most of the time. We don't like fold it up every morning or anything, but um, we've got all of their bins of toys down here and more shelf space. So finally Levi has his own little space and he is absolutely loving it. And I am also loving it because he tends to sleep in more when he's not in the living room and he can't hear me get up. He sleeps in a little bit later, which makes me very happy. My husband also got in all the heaters on the wall. He put in some wall heaters. And so those are great now that it's getting very cold. The bathroom that's all framed in is still a storage room right now, but I think that's going to be the next order of business. My husband is hoping to get the basement close to finished sometime in January or maybe February. So in the next few months, hopefully we will have a bathroom down here, which will be so amazing. So it has been a few days and I have been wearing my Fitbit and loving it. It's supposed to turn on when you go like this. There it goes. Um, I figured out how to change the clock face. So I found uh, one that I really like. I think it's super cute. So you can tap through it like this and it shows you just a little, little things down here, the date and how many floors and how many steps and heart rate. And then if you swipe up, then it'll give you a little bit more detail on your steps and your miles. And let's see down here, uh, calories, hourly, active minutes. So it uh, reminds you to um, get moving every, I don't know how often. I think I can go in and set it to a different, um, different intervals or turn off that, but it's reminding me. Um, let's see. It gives you the heart rate monitor thing, which is very exciting. Oh, sleep. Uh, last night I got seven hours and 33 minutes of sleep and I had a excellent 90 score for sleep. I already knew I was sleeping pretty well, but it's always nice to get that confirmed. Um, I haven't really played with this much, um, so I'm not sure what all that gives me. Um, it tracks your menstrual cycle, which is very exciting. Exercise. Uh, your exercise goal that you can put in there. All right, that's it on that. And then um, from the clock face, you can swipe this way as well. It gives you notifications. I haven't, I don't think I've set it up to connect to my phone that way. So I, um, I don't do anything with the notifications, but I guess you can have it notify you if you get a text message or a call or something. All right, and then if you um, start exercising, you can do set it to be walking or running or biking. Um, and you can just start when you start exercising. 
So that's kind of interesting. Uh, this is a relaxed thing. It was kind of cool. I did it yesterday. It's like a two minute session where you, it tells you to breathe and it has this little circle that goes in and out and you breathe with it and you're supposed to relax. That's interesting. And then alarms you can add and timers. That's kind of nice for me when I'm in the kitchen and um, have stuff cooking. They have another place that I can put a timer. That's pretty cool. And that is pretty much it as far as what the watch looks like and what it does. I'm liking it so far. It's, you know, pretty basic as far as the Fitbits go these days. Um, but it's doing everything that I want it to do. I'm not like some elite athlete that really needs GPS tracking and stuff for all my runs or anything. So it's what I wanted. So I guess I'm just going to close out the video here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and seeing all the things that I spent money on for Black Friday. Let me know down in the comments what you guys picked up. If you did pick up anything, anything you're loving, I would love to hear about that. And I will see you again in another video. Bye, guys.